So the days of adverts just being a bit of a nuisance are long gone. These days, adverts combined with cookies are highly sophisticated. They have lots of tracking built in. We've seen the example. So let's say, for example, you search for a car on Google. And the next time you go to any other website, all of the adverts will now be talking about cars. So we know they're tracking us. We know they're checking out our search history, just endless tracking. We also know some adverts can also contain malware or be malicious. We saw the news article recently where somebody had intentionally coded adverts on adult websites with ransomware. So if you were to click on it, this would then install some malware onto your machine, forcing you to pay a ransom. There was also some deep level analysis done on the top 2,556 applications on the Google Play Store. And as we can just see with the results here, 88% of those applications were actually connecting to third party servers without the user knowing. On top of that, 61% of them were also sending out identifiable information and 41% of them were sending to the Facebook audience network. So you can just see just so much data is being gathered on you without you knowing. On top of that performance, we also know that, you know, certain websites with just too many adverts can bog down your device, especially if your device is not very powerful. These adverts can literally grind your device to a halt. So we can all agree that nobody likes adverts. And just as a real life example, here's me browsing um, a news website. So at the top here, we have a large advert scrolling further down. We have another advert over here, another one on the left here. So that's three adverts there straight away. Over here, we've got Business Insider. So again, large advert at the top, scrolling down. Another advert on the right here. And another one, and then another one at the bottom. And then on the Forbes website, we have a couple of adverts at the top here, scrolling down. And here we see another advert. So what's the easiest way I can now block all of these adverts without actually installing anything on my device? And this process will work great whether you're using Windows, Macintosh, Linux, even your Android devices, your Fire Sticks, pretty much any device in your house, including your router or router, can be updated to block all of these adverts. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to change our DNS servers to use some different ones, which are specially designed to block all adverts, to block all tracking, and even block malware. Now for us to understand how a changing DNS servers can actually block adverts, let's have a quick explanation on exactly what is DNS. As you can see on the screen, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it's a method or process to translate domain names into IP addresses. So let's just put that into real life. So the job of DNS is to translate the friendly names that we type into our browser into IP addresses that I can understand and communicate with. So right now, if I open up a browser and type in google.com or another address, the first thing the browser will do, will see, do I already know the IP address of this website? And if I know the IP address, it will just make a connection to the IP and then it will show me the web page and away you go. Now in the case where it doesn't know what the IP address is, this is where your browser will now say, hey, DNS server that I'm configured to use, what is the IP for this particular website? So your computer will make a connection to your DNS server, which is normally your ISP's DNS server, and say, what is the IP for this website I'm trying to look at? Now in reality, it may need to ask a couple of DNS servers before it actually finds out what is the IP address for that website. And as soon as it finds the answer, it gives that back to your computer and your computer can now make a direct connection to the IP address and you can now see that website. And that's essentially how DNS works. Okay, so now that we understand what DNS is, you can see how a DNS server could actually block adverts from loading because the next time you load your application or your website, or if your website tries to load an advert, as soon as your website sends that request to your DNS server saying, what's the IP address for this URL, which is actually the URL for the advert. And because that DNS server knows that this URL is actually a URL for an advert, it's not going to return an IP address for it. And if your website can't get an IP address for the advert, it's just not going to load it. And that's essentially how DNS advert blocking works. And the DNS servers I recommend are actually the AdGuard DNS servers. So you just type in AdGuard DNS into your browser. You'll get to this page. Let's scroll down. And here we can just see it's going to block adverts everywhere. So all of your applications, all of your websites, anything that goes off to a DNS server to load an advert is now going to be blocked. We can see that they care about your privacy, which means they're going to be blocking your online trackers, online analytical systems, anything that can identify you or track you, it's also going to be blocked. 
They also have another pair of DNS servers which not only block adverts, but they also block any adult or any mature content. The only slight issue with this is, is if you use those DNS servers, it also blocks YouTube comments, which if you don't mind, then go ahead and use that. But if you want to see the YouTube comments, then use the normal AdGuard DNS servers and not the family protection ones. And here's the key part of this whole process, guys. So you don't need to have any kind of third party application, nothing like Blockada or any other application. And let's scroll down. And here are the two DNS servers which will block all adverts, all tracking, all malware on your device. And if you do want to go for the family friendly ones, that's these two down here. So how do we change our DNS servers? Well, well, if you want to do this just on a device by device basis, well, on Windows, we can just go down here, do a right click, click on open network and internet sharing. Let's go to the network and sharing center. Let's click on your network adapter. Let's click on properties. We can see by default, this machine will just get the DNS servers from the router or router, but we're going to hard set some DNS servers, which is the AdGuard ones here. So if I just copy this out, click, do a control C. Let's go back here and do a control V. That's the first server. Let's go back. Do this one again. Let's copy that out. We'll go back over here. Let's paste that here. That's the second one there. Let's click on OK. OK again. And let's click on Close. So now those DNS servers have been added to my machine. That means the next time anything on my computer that tries to resolve an address for an advert or for some tracking site, all of that will be automatically blocked. So let's just test it out now. So Let's go back to these sites here. So we can see this advert at the top here. Let's now click on refresh. And I'm hoping when I do that, this advert should now not load. Let's click on refresh. And we get no advert guys. So no advert at the top here. Let's scroll down. Okay, so this is not actually an advert. This is actually just something that's on their site. But we did have an advert on the side here. That's now also gone. Okay, so no adverts there. Let's go over to Business Insider. So let's go an advert there. And one at the top. Let's now also do a refresh. No advert, guys. And you can see it actually moves the content together. So you can actually read or consume this content without having big adverts in your face. So the advert up there is gone. Scroll down. And we have no adverts on the side there. Okay, so the last site, so we're going to advert the top here. Let's scroll down. And I think we had one in the middle. Yep, here we go. Okay, let's now refresh the page. And I'm hoping all of that should now be removed. So no adverts at the top and also no advert here. So now, of course, if you don't want to do this on a device by device basis, you can log into your router's web page and there you'll see some settings for DNS. Now, by default, your router will actually get the DNS servers from your ISP. And typically all of the devices in your house, when they want to resolve a DNS name, they go to your router first. And then from your router, they go to your ISP's DNS servers. But what you can actually do on the router's admin page is change the settings. So you don't want to use your ISP's DNS servers. You want to use your own ones. And there you can actually specify the AdGuard DNS servers. Now making that change there means that any device on your home network will now automatically use the AdGuard DNS servers for the name resolution. And because they're using the AdGuard DNS servers, you won't get any adverts on any machine on any device in your house. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.